guys, it's Brandis Daniel, the CEO and founder of Problems Fashion Row. And I have been taking you guys through the story of what happened and how Harlem's Fashion Row ended up partnering with Nike. And so I'm going to finish that. I think on the last email that I sent you, I talked to you about when I first got the email and realized that it was actually Nike and that it was Nike that we were going to be talking to. Um, now, you know, I'm going to kind of finish that story off for you, but I was in the parking lot at Panera Bread. And I'm listening to one of the representatives there kind of talking through um, LeBron and what he had said about his mother being like one of the strongest people in the world and how um, black women were so strong. And I'm sitting there and she's like, do you know any black female designers? And I was like, of course I know black female designers. And so um, I sent them some designers. They end up selecting the designers that I sent to them. And the next thing I know, we were in Portland. And while we were in Portland, there was one thing that was super important to me. And I want to tell you guys this because it's going to be important for you as well as you're working with brands. And that is, I said to the designers, when we go in here, we are going to be fully authentic. They are going to know our real stories, whether they're pretty or not. They're going to get to know us, the real us, the real version of us, not people who come in here and we're trying to be all buttoned up and super professional. They are really going to get to know us because if we're going to do a project like this, it's important that they really know us and that we really know them. And when you're working with brands, sometimes it's so easy. And I did this for years, 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 where I would come to the table and I would be so buttoned up and no one would ever get to know the real brand is because... I was so busy just trying to impress them, trying to impress the brand, trying to throw out like all of these assets that my event had to get them to come on board. But when I finally in 2014 said, I'm just going to be me and people can decide they can take me or they can leave me, but I'm going to be me. The game really changed for me. And so as you're thinking about sponsorship and going out to sponsorship, one of the things that you're selling that you may not realize you're selling is you. You are selling yourself. And so I know your event is amazing and it has an amazing cause and it's really important to you. Um, but that's not going to be the thing that's going to sell them. The thing that's going to sell the brand is you being who you are, being authentic, showing up as your true self. That is what is going to sell them because they're going to be able to look at you and hear you and they're going to believe what you're saying and that trust factor is what's so important and it was definitely one of the pieces that really made this partnership work so i have another piece of this that i cannot wait to share with you i will be sharing it on the next email that you receive bye guys